The movie begins with an elderly woman in the dark woods at night holding a fire torch and calling out to someone named William. She hears a noise, so she walks towards it, and that's when she hears growls which instantly leave her terrified. All of a sudden, she's attacked by a werewolf that tears her apart immediately. Not long after, we see an old man checking floorboards, and he tells a younger woman about rats before we suddenly start to hear knocking sounds like a hammer to wood. The sounds get louder until we meet the young girl named Willow, who looks to be fixing up a miniature house. Her mother, Imogen, tells her that she is taking her father, Noah, out and will return before dark, so the young girl, who is currently in an oxygen mask, peeps from the upstairs railing. Willow sees her father in a long fur coat with her mother and then goes into her room, where she watches her mother struggle with a pig from her broken window. They load the pig into the car and drive off, and after some time, the girl starts running into the woods after her parents. However, the old man from earlier, who happens to be her grandfather, stops her and takes her back home. As evening approaches, her mother returns without her father, and grandfather confronts her mother. She gets off the vehicle with a grunt of pain, and Willow watches from a corner. Later on, the little girl sneaks to eavesdrop on her mother and grandfather's conversation, but she hits something that alerts them of her presence. As a result, the adults quickly stop talking and decide that it's time for dinner. At the table, they persuade her to eat, so she does. That's when they hear a distant screech. Her grandfather, Waylon, claims the noise came from their farm and goes to check it out. After dinner, Willow goes to her room where she holds a small figure of her father and asks rhetorically where he is always going. Suddenly she hears grunts, so she goes down the stairs to investigate. The gasps get louder and she walks into her father's room. She sees him groaning, sweating and clenching in his sleep. She calls out to him and touches him. He continues to shake more violently and she shouts for him to wake up. But then, all of a sudden, he turns and roars at her. His features look animalistic and inhumane. And it's at this point that Willow wakes up from her nightmare in a cold sweat. She gets up from her bed and opens the curtains, only to see her mother and grandfather bringing her father's barely conscious and bloodied body out of the vehicle. Scared and confused, she puts on her oxygen mask and peeps from the stairwell, watching her mother lock herself in her father's room with him. While Willow is working in the farm, she hears a scrubbing sound, and she sees her mother washing blood off her father's long fur coat. Later on, she is doing the dishes with her mother, and then curiously asks her mother why she is hiding it. Imogen brushes off the question, but the persistent young girl asks her mother why he always comes home in a battered state. At this point, Willow's mother gets aggravated, so she smashes a cup and sends the girl out of the kitchen. Later that night, she hears her grandfather and her mother trying to convince her father to lie down, but the man just keeps groaning from inside the room when her mother leaves. Curiosity peaks, so Willow creeps toward the crack of the door and takes a look, only to see an orange eye staring back at her. As you'd expect, she's shocked, so she gasps in fear and retreats to her room closet. The next morning, she goes out with her mother while her father stares from the window. Emogen pulls over halfway through their journey and changes her shirt. As she changes, Willow notices the bruises on her ribs. They get into town. They are happy and full of laughter. They go into a dress store and buy a gown. And later that evening, they return home where Noah welcomes them with a smile. He takes the dress she bought from her and starts playing before they go inside. The next day, her mother informs her in the usual way that she is going out and claims that she will be back before dark. She puts a pig in the vehicle while Willow watches from her window. 
The vehicle is shown in the woods. Her mother takes out the pig and they walk into the woods, unaware that Willow has followed them into the forest. They take the pig into a building and Willow watches in utter confusion as her mother puts a heavy chain on her stark naked father and locks him in with the pig and leaves. At this point, the little girl is probably wondering what on earth is going on because it's such a crazy scene. Curiosity gets the better of her, so she sneaks into the place where her father is locked and Imogen calls out for her. In the dark, the screams of the pig, an animalistic growl, eerie music, and her mother calling out to her are in a mix. The noise becomes louder. Her mother manages to get her out of the building and takes her home where Willow is unconscious, and her mother tries to resuscitate her with the oxygen mask. Her mother screams for her to wake up, while Willow gets flashes of her father's transformation which she witnessed. Willow wakes up in bed with her oxygen mask and seems traumatized as she cries to her grandfather after running from home. Enraged, she tears the dress her mother bought for her and cries. At night, her grandfather comes to her room and asks her to get her things for them to leave. As they are driving off, her mother gets in the way to stop Waylon. A fight ensues between Noah and Waylon, which ends with Imogen asking her old man to leave, and they take Willow back home despite her protests. The next morning, while Willow is working in the farm, her father orders her to go on a drive with him. He takes her back to the woods where he was chained. He begins to tell her a story, admitting that Waylon is a kind man. Noah tells her how his grandfather had a sickness that would make him change every full moon. He would go as far away from his wife as possible in order that he never hurt her. One day, his grandmother followed his grandfather into the woods and because his grandfather was in his werewolf form and out of his senses, he killed her. It was only after he came back to his senses and realized what he had done, which left him devastated to the point that he took his own life. Noah tells her how he never wished to have the sickness. He cries to Willow, and she consoles him. It is then decoded that the woman at the beginning of the film is Noah's grandmother, and the werewolf tearing her apart is his grandfather. Later on, she is in the woods with her father chopping wood. They act out a pantomime, where her father acts as the king of the forest and crowns her the princess of the forest. They eat sandwiches in the car, and when he goes to get some tea to accompany their meal, he sees his wife's dress, which she changed the day she went out with Willow. He gets angry shoves Willow into the car, and then takes her home. At home, in an angry fit, he accuses his wife of cheating while Willow hides under her bed. The next morning, her parents leave for the woods with a pig, and her father in a fur coat. After some time, she goes into her room and finds the dress she tore, replaced, laying on her bed. She wears the dress on her birthday, and her parents come in with a cake. She makes a wish. She opens her gifts and sees a miniature figure of their car. She is also gifted matchsticks to finish her miniature replica of their house. They hear a knock on the door, and her grandfather walks in with a dog as her gift. Willow and her father play with the dog while Imogen talks to Waylon. As Willow goes to bed, she questions her mother about their safety and her mother promises to always protect her. Willow builds a miniature version of the building her father was chained in. She puts the chain on the neck of her father's doll version. As she moves the dolls in the small house, their actions are replicated in real life, and Willow and her father repeat the phrase, nothing changes at the same time. Her mother leaves her father chained up and as the moon comes up, Willow hears her father in her head asking her to let him in. She goes to her miniature replica and breaks open the gates of the house. She injures her nail and it falls off as she begins to transform. 
Black veins run up her arms, and she begins to transform just like her father. Suddenly, she wakes up from her nightmare, gasping for air. But she can't reach her oxygen tank. She crawls desperately to it and unknowingly leaves it open, causing the air to escape. Afterward, she goes to get some water when she hears a muffled thud. She goes down the stairs as the thudding continues. At the gate, she calls after her father and decides to open the gate, but Waylon stops her. Willow is taken to her bed by her grandfather, and as he tucks her in, Emojin sights a gun in Waylon's back pocket. Emojin questions him about the gun and takes it from him, so he explains that it is for protection. Willow eavesdrops on their conversation and goes back upstairs in a daze, unsteadily. Her air canister falls and clatters, which draws the attention of Waylon and Emojin. They find her unconscious with her tank empty, and then Emojin rushes out to get another air canister. As she rushes back, she trips and falls, and at this point, it's starting to look like luck isn't on their side at all. She then goes to the gate to scream at Noah to leave. At Waylon's call, she picks up the canister, rushes back in, but forgets the gun. As she connects the new oxygen tank, her father asks her where the gun is. When she doesn't give a positive answer, he asks her to hide and leaves the room. As Waylon reaches the front door, Noah breaks down the gate and pushes against the front door. Waylon tries his best to hold the door, but Noah breaks into the house. While Emojin tries to resuscitate Willow in the closet, Noah pushes Waylon into a deer head on the wall. Willow wakes up, and they sneak out of the house. Emojin tells Willow that if she doesn't see her, that she should drive until she sees the sun. She goes into the house to get Waylon, and they sneak under the house to escape. With the help of the car, Willow frees them from under the house. They enter the car, but it refuses to move, so they continue on foot. Then, Waylon goes back into the house and locks himself inside with a transformed Noah. They run into the woods, and Willow stays by a tree while Emojin searches the place, not knowing that Noah has made it out of the house. As Emojin calls out to Willow, Noah grabs her and begins to run. Emojin chases after them and talks soothingly to Noah to put Willow down. He drops Willow after a while and Emojin goes to hug him in his werewolf form. Noah gets into a frenzy again and claws against Emojin. The fire lamp she used to navigate the forest in the dark falls and starts a fire. Desperate to save her mother, Willow takes her oxygen mask off the tank and places it on the fire and opens the tank, which sets Noah ablaze. In the final scene, Willow and Emojin are seen packing up. They are dressed to the nines. As Emojin stretches out her hand, Willow has flashes of everything that occurred for the past few years of her life, and her expression at the end would make one believe that the beast is still within.